Films have evolved dramatically throughout the years, from the early days of black and white to the lifelike movies of today. And our next guest says that one of his favorites always comes from the golden ages of Hollywood. That's through 1930s to the 1950s. And we're here with his must-see list of, moothy, of movies. We, we should learn to talk today, Teresa. <laughs> Author, <laughs> critic, and historian, John Delio. Thanks for joining us here on CT Style. It's so nice to John, be with you did both. did you know the answer to the trivia question? I knew it. You knew uh, it. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> he might be the only one, Teresa. I don't think so. No, no. I don't, I don't <laughs> think yeah. so at all. Uh, so how did you get so interested in these films, John? Well, I was lucky enough to come from a family that was movie mad, uh -huh. and we'd sit around the TV, and so I got an informal but very extensive education as a child, I'd say. How do you then, think movies have changed over the years? I mean, obviously oh goodness. the technology has changed. But. Technology, certainly. And, uh, you know, it used to be uh, movies were made in a, in a factory, essentially, the studio system from this golden age of the 30s, 40s, and 50s. They were made in Hollywood on the back lot or in the studio. Spaghetti westerns, that type of deal. Well, that, that comes later. later. That comes okay. later. But now everything's done on location, <laughs> and yeah. people aren't under contract in that old way. It was really a factory town where they churned them out and sometimes made great things. So now it's more of a location shoot. Oh, uh, pretty much, pretty much everything is shot somewhere else, and Not then they Hollywood. come back to Hollywood. Oh, you know. Got it. Okay. And John, you've written a number of books about this. Yes, I've written five books on classic films, and this is my passion. I've turned my hobby into my career, and I mostly write about the great um, underappreciated, neglected films of Hollywood's golden age. So after you've seen the classics, then you have to get to the ones I write about too. What is the best uh, underappreciated movie in oh, goodness. history? Of film. Oh, that's an impossible question. But there, there are hundred. After you've seen the hundred and maybe two hundred of the, the uh, agreed upon classics, then you have to go to the next few hundred of movies that are almost just as good, but you may not know about them. And that's why I'm here to tell you. Got it. How all about right. you, Teresa? What's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite movie of all time? Yeah. I'd say probably The Godfather. The Godfather? Yeah. Okay. Great what choice. About you? Uh, I think Borat. Okay, kidding? not a Seriously. classic movie, but uh, it's but, a but funny. In my book. It's <laughs> funny. I'll give you that. I made you laugh. It's really funny. All right, well, let's get into some of these movies that we have to see. The, okay. The, the best of the best here. Number one, you say The African Queen. I've seen this one. It's a great film. It's got two legends, Catherine Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart. It, it transcends genre. It's a love story. It's a comedy. It's a war movie. It's a great adventure. Mm -hmm. Irresistible. Next up, a, we have Notorious. That's a... A Hitchcock yeah. film. Okay. You have to have a Hitchcock film on the list. It's got Cary Grant and Ingrid Bergman. Again, it mixes a love story with a spy movie. It's about what the Nazis might be up to in South America after World War II. So it's got a great hook. So that's the best Hitchcock movie, you not, think? Maybe not the best, but a great one, so you can't go wrong. And did he make an appearance in that one, too? He makes an appearance in, in all, all of them, right? Yes, yes. Okay, and The Adventures of Robin Hood from 1938. Greatest adventure movie Hollywood ever made. Again, it mix, it's the most beautiful Technicolor movie, too, from 1938. And again, it mixes humor and adventure. It's fabulous. Great. Um, City Lights. I'm not familiar with that I mean, one. I, I haven't heard of City Lights. The legend Charlie Chaplin, his greatest film, in my opinion, mixing hilarity with pathos. It, again, irresistible. Was this a speaking role for him? This, it's in, it's in the talky era, but it's still a silent film with sound effects, no talking. Did he ever have a talking movie? He did come to talking yeah. in 1940 with The Great Dictator. Okay. But he held out longer than anybody. Hmm. Wow. All right. All right, we have Duck Soup. I Maybe the funniest movie no, ever Stacey. made. The ever Marx made? Brothers. How have we the Marx missed Brothers. this? I've you know the Marx Brothers. Of course, uh, sure, uh, sure. Oh, their best fans. film and possibly the funniest movie ever made, so check it out. Funniest movie ever made? A good candidate. Right, you're a funny guy. You've it, missed that is one. Is it better than Borat? Funnier than Borat. No. Better uh, than Dumb and Dumber. I'm going to say yes. All right, next up we have uh, Camille. We, we had Camille on the show this I don't think it's the same one. It's a different Camille. Probably. Okay. This is the greatest tearjerker of all time with Greta Garbo, magnificent performance. It should have you sobbing in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Yes. Right. If you want, if you're in for that kind of experience, Camille. T Teresa, do you have a tissue? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> wait, right. wait till the movie. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. It was a so lot of fun. With you. We got it. We have a lot of movie watching to do now. We yeah. do. Come I on. think maybe tomorrow, instead of taping the show, we can watch some flicks. Uh, there you go. <laughs> it's great to have you here. Thank you. All right.